Hey there, it is Wednesday afternoon about 3.30 and this is a bit of a find for me. I uh, discovered this, this area of Shoreditch uh, in central London and it's a pretty special place. Um, absolutely love this detail over here. John Redman Limited and British Empire Pipe Company. That's pretty special. Um, yeah, I was on my on my way from the Regent's Canal heading towards Liverpool Street Station, and I've been uh, doing a few sort of turns, lefts, rights, etc., as I usually do. And I came across this pretty interesting area here. Um, and as I said, my thing is um, converted warehouses, converted factories, um, or better still, if they're not converted, if they're derelict or in the process of being done up, that's pretty interesting. Um, but I thought I would do some recording here I was just walking through it and then I turned around and thought hmm actually uh, I think the, the punters may want to, to see this so I uh, thought I'd better show you um, this past part of Shoreditch I haven't been to for probably 15 years I remember sort of doing a walk through here um, just to see what was here because I hadn't been here before and uh, none of these these flats were here I mean this is um, all new uh, interesting touch there I think that's some sort of restaurant um, let's see offices to let and Yes, yeah, some just pretty nice uh, industrial kind of buildings here. I think that, I think this one on the right might be a uh, former warehouse of some sort. quiet again as many people have been sort of asked to work from home so not a huge amount of activity I'm tempted to stick the phone sort of at one of these windows and show you some some office life inside but uh, probably shouldn't do that Walk Studios, and that's absolutely fine, isn't it? Yeah, closest in feel to to this quarter or this district that I've encountered before, maybe the Tribeca region in New York City. Um, that region lying just north of the central business district um, and south of Greenwich Village. So that would probably be what I would say is a sort of similar feel. Um, yeah, I just love, love the details on here, the corners of these buildings. Just uh, something pretty evocative about it. Um, also, um, for those of you familiar with the jewellery quarter in Birmingham, that would be um, of a similar kind. Here. So, uh, see, see you now. Yeah, so the video won't be super long, but just to give you an idea of this 
uh, this area, um, which is Shoreditch Stroke City Road Basin. Um, but yeah, hadn't um, really been aware that this was was here. So uh, we can go up here. Yeah, there's a nice touch over here. This is Macorba Street, and there's a pub here, William IV, that looks like it's up for for a new lease or freehold is up. Let me show you uh, that there. Um, all right, let's go down here. Plush furniture in that lobby there. Yeah, so as I said, I'm always looking out for the, the details. Uh, I like to think I have an, an artist eye for that. So if I spot anything that appeals, uh, you'll certainly get to know about it. I just really like these sort of these high windows and the, uh, the sort of grey at the railings on them. Yeah, I think the sort of nature of trade here would be, or business is being sort of graphics, design. Um, maybe post-production work for film, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, had never really uh, checked out this, this area before. Yeah, just love love that touch there you can see the uh, sort of smoke coming out of there and this uh, here is pretty nice Cairo Studios, 4 Nile Street. Zoom in on those uh, tall towers in the City Road Basin. the 18th of November. It's coming up to four o'clock. Um, pretty pleasant temperature. Feels about 11 or 12 Celsius, 53 Fahrenheit. Um, 
yeah, as I said, don't really know this area super well, so we'll uh, we'll just have a walk around and see if anything catches our eyes. And uh, something has. Just love this uh, this detail here. thinking that's possibly private so I don't want to take a chance there but look at this here I mean this is just Blended, isn't it? The Eagle Public House. And it says up and down the city road, in and out to the Eagle. That's the way the money goes. Up goes the weasel. Plenty of premises. Uh, see, they've got these to let signs on, so a um, huge amount of uh, vacancy for office space around here. Those concrete towers or high rises you can see in the picture to the top right hand cor corner of the screen there, they're the, the tower to the Barbican Centre, um, which is an arts venue, uh, has live performances, usually of course concerts, does film, there's um, sort of workshops and catering places etc to like recording at this time of the day, four or five o'clock, as the light starts to change, uh, the um, various city towers start to, uh, to light up.
not 100% sure where we are. I think we're pretty close to the old street roundabout. Um, if I look here. And indeed we are here. It's a sort of, um, it's a high, sort of high tech area, um, similar to sort of Silicon Valley in, in California. Um, trying to think what the, the nickname is of the, the Old Street Roundabout um, tech area. There's a, there's a name, of, it's just, my mind has just gone completely blank, but it does have a, a, a moniker attached to it. taste of the old street uh, atmosphere. Plenty of modern uh, office and uh, commercial space. this pedestrian underpass.
the electronic advertising boards. I think we'll go try and come out on the other side. Yeah, there's so much uh, construction activity going on there in the centre. It looks like Old Street's having a, a major rework refurbishment, so expect something pretty uh, striking will appear in a year or two. And uh, indeed, we can see here we're transforming Old Street. Completion autumn 2022. It's pretty smart. I think we'll try this one. I'm not quite sure my bearings at the moment, so oh. yeah, sorry, you see, you're not you're not far, I think five minutes away. Oh. Yeah, I think yeah, there should be a map there somewhere. Thanks. Yeah, I have been to Moorfields Eye Hospital but uh, just got turned around coming out of that that subway so I'm not quite sure uh, which direction uh, I was facing first off so I couldn't really help him too clearly there. but we are now walking south towards the financial district the, the city of London. Just showing you the the quieter streets, the character of uh, Shoreditch.
show you these, these buildings here. I just love this. Yeah, this looks very much like it was a perhaps a 19th century school or hospital used to something else now. Street EC2 and you've got a pretty nice uh, corner building there. Wow that is beautiful. Look at those uh, those tall windows there, that's something special. And if we go down this to this corner here. I mean I just try to get in my head how it would have looked in past decades, I mean, what it would have been like in the sort of turn of the 10th, 20th century. I mean, these, these walls, I mean, the whole thing is just spectacular. Um, now it's obviously all modern commercial space, but uh, this would have been some impressive factory, I mean, Let's just put zoom out. Look at that. It's uh, to me pretty special. So, where should we go? It all looks pretty interesting uh, in all directions, to be honest. I mean, the, the height of those glass windows, uh, that's fabulous. Street EC2. So you can see what I mean. It has this just very distinct air of a, a place that was obviously uh, ext extremely bustling in past decades and uh, now is. Um, more of your sort of uh, your dot com type businesses, but uh, I mean, just incredible this sort of brickwork and the sort of alabaster or stone I don't know the technical term for it, so I'll just say the sort of cornering on, on these uh, edges here. That's a nice bit of sign, Platina Street, EC, East Central. And there you've got uh, Wesley's Chapel, the Wesley House and Museum of Methodism. I can just uh, show you some of that.
Yeah, I mean, every uh, corner of this of this district is um, just impressing me with these these huge huge stone uh, brick former factories. I mean, many of them, are, as you see, that they've been smartened up. But I imagine, uh, perhaps in the 60s, in the 70s, in the 80s, uh, it was all a bit, a bit rough, a bit run down. Which would have been a great time to, you know, do some photography in the area. Uh, <clears throat> I know there are there are books on um, period in both black and white and colour photos uh, really show you show you how it was nice angle on that tall tower Yeah, I'd say there's there's two types of Shoreditch. There's the the very trendy, what would normally be busy bar, cafe, quirky, boutique type Shoreditch, and then there's this um, working commercial area of former industrial premises. And just so you can check out where I've been, that's Tabernacle Street. So we're past the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to end the recording now. So thanks for watching and stay, stay, stay tuned because I'll be doing lots more videos in the same vein. Bye for now.